Good morning. This is my very first ever how-to video, I guess you could say, for Model A generator rebuild. Uh, I've had this part a couple times. Still not getting any kind of idle performance out of this thing at all. Uh, with the third brush all the way up, I can get about eight amps of max output, which I know is low. So that tells me that this is a, probably a field coil problem. Yeah. So we're going to take this apart and we're gonna put some new field coils in it and we'll get on from there. So stay tuned. No, oh, so <laughs> tools that you'll need to pull this apart: flathead screwdriver, uh, seven sixteenth socket. Uh, my generator has had a different bolt put on the end of it. It's got a seven sixteenth with a couple washers to take up what the original was. I don't remember what the original was, but uh, yeah. So with that said. Let me uh, gather the tools up and we'll start pulling this thing apart. Right, we'll let the gains begin. So, if you're looking at this, you want to make sure you buff all the armature real well whenever you're putting these back together. And kind of make sure you kind of buff any kind of rust that's on these uh, fins on this armature just to kind of keep it clean. It should increase your field just a little bit, having a little cleaner way to induce. So, but yeah, try to make sure this is 100% square and straight. Uh, I'll check this one. Runs pretty good. So I just buffed it down with a little light emery cloth. Make sure your bearing surfaces, their bushing surfaces are clean and operable. If they're super pitted up or dirty. Clean them, try to buff them down. Uh, you want to make sure that it fits in this bearing real nice and tight. You don't want a whole lot of slop moving around in there. Same with the one on the back of the case. So once you get this broke loose, because these things normally stick a little bit in the case. So sometimes all it takes is a little pry action to release these like that. So from here, let's move the bolts out of the way. Let's 
So, you have this is your negative, your ground brush. Let's go with ground since this is positive ground. And then this is your actual output brush. So, you want to make sure that these things are in good spring pressure everything else. I've removed the brush off this because it had a problem. So we're already going to work on that. This is the third brush that you adjust, which took me a while to figure out because so many others resort to uh, the bolt on the back. This is, I guess, the later model. So it's just a recess in here. So this third brush will slide on this little, on this little, uh, it's in this recess right here. So you wanna make sure all this is clean. Put a little drop of oil in there. It will help be able to adjust this, but you do not want this third brush moving around while you're driving, because if it does, you get some real crazy results. So, just uh, make sure this is all clean and clear. This one's pretty clean and clear. I put some oil on it. It moves. It takes quite a bit of pressure to move. So, with one hand on the camera and one with uh, just showing you, can't do that. So, what we're going to do from this point is we're going to remove the wires that are attaching to these two brushes. So, one of them is the output. The other one goes to the field coils that we're going to be replacing. So, that said, let's uh, put you down and uh, let me get those wires off. So, if you look inside there, see right here and up here on this other side are the field coils. So these are what adjust the uh, just magnetic field for how much this generator outputs. So, what we're going to do is we've got to break those loose. So, I'm going to drop a little uh, penetrating oil right there on the threads because these have these flatheads on the outside of each side of the case. So you have to break these loose. So I'm gonna put a little penetrating oil on the inside. It does look clean in there, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue, but if there is, I just wanna make sure we assist in that issue. So we'll pull this apart and uh, be right back. If you have a big vise like this, this is the great way to do it. Chuck it up in there just like this, and uh, it will help you out tremendously. Right, so, once you get screws on the outside of the case out, these two field coils will slide through here like this. And then out. So from 
here. So that's the fuel cools out. So if you'll notice on this one over here, this has got that wire that goes to this tab. And that tab gets sandwiched under here to create a ground to the outside of the case. And that's one thing you just wanna make sure there's no extra debris, anything else in there. Looks clear and clean, so. by Wilson part number W11217 so here we are with the back on I uh, ran out of battery so sorry about not being able to film putting it back together but uh, going back together, it's all super simple. I mean, how it looks. No, I don't know. It's pretty much the reverse of what we took out. I flipped the bolts around, so I put them in from the front side this time instead of the back. So now I got the nuts on the back. Um, just remember, grease the front and back of the armature. And when you put the uh, armature back in, Remember, these brushes lift up, so just lift up the brushes one by one, and it will actually just hop right back down in there and find its home. Uh, so there's all the new brushes. There's the new field coil wire. We are way up there in the adjustment now. That's for about four amps, five amps at uh, high idle or high speed so yeah so I mean it's we were down here now we're up here so it's a huge amount of difference in the adjustment um, whenever you start it up it probably takes it a second but once it once the armchair I guess builds enough fill voltage it'll just click and I mean I had mine just where the previous adjustment was I was getting four amps out of it before and leaving it where it was down here, I was getting 15 to 16. So it's humming now. So, but just put the, uh, put the belt back on tip of the day. 
these original cutouts if you can find a good one that's still clean and works use it the new ones are junk so but here she is all back together and uh there's the uh fabulous little b motor that uh is pretty rowdy so hope you all enjoyed and uh, as always don't forget to subscribe like whatever i'm uh, just trying to get an idea how to do this junk of sharing my knowledge and some of my stuff that i've picked up along the way so hope y'all have a great day and uh we'll talk to you soon bye now